Good evening, YouTube. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. So, I wanted to share this idea that I came up with while I was at work. As y'all remember yesterday, I had come up, I, I posted a video stating how I needed to purchase containers or, or boxes, beautiful boxes or cube boxes to go with, of course, my theme here and pretty much it's just turquoise and pink. But as you can see, <laughs> I have quite a bit of colors here, but that's okay. I do love pink and I do love turquoise um, that this box that's here, um, it is not exactly turquoise. And then these lime green boxes here, which I'll, I'll eventually take out and put in under uh, my sink along with this blue uh, fabric kind of box here. I will also get rid of that. And then while I'm at the Dollar Tree, if I'm able to find another pink one, then I'm going to go ahead and purchase that. But usually... My whole theme is going to pretty much be pink and turquoise. I love both of those colors. So let's get on with it. Um, as y'all can see, my couch is clear. <laughs> so, y'all know these boxes here, right? That come with paper. Copy paper. And most of these boxes are very sturdy. They're very sturdy because they're having to hold these you know lots of lots of paper and it's actually a 20 pound 25 pounds of paper in this box so this one is coming loose a little bit as y'all can see here but it didn't matter to me because I can definitely just put some um hot glue and then just put it together and then possibly maybe some duct tape around it before I decorate it so pretty much what I did is that I grabbed my ruler and I measured the distance between the edge of the couch to the floor and it's a little bit um, over um, seven inches so what I elected to do is go ahead and cut my box measure from here you know measure seven inches tall so and then what i did is that i cut all along the edge of the box and i'm still using this lid so it doesn't matter and this here even though i cut seven inches off it will still fit perfectly under my couch so this is the end product so there's no need for me to go purchase boxes, pay $7.99, $4.99 for a box when I can easily make the box or make the container or make the, the size box that I'm wanting. And these boxes are very, very sturdy. So what I did is at one point, I let me grab it. I'm going to pause this video really quick. Okay, I opened the box because I'm doing this with uh, one free hand. <laughs> so what I did is, of course, I cut the box seven inches and then I did use the um, the uh, Mod Podge to um, kind of hold this paper down. And then I did use some hot glue for the edges and use uh, pink duct tape for the inside to kind of make sure that all the paper stays down along with the lid. I did the same thing to the lid. So I was going to put some silver sequins along the trimming here of the lid, which I did not have enough for me to do that. I only had maybe like very little, not even for the one, one side it was not even going to be enough it was probably going to be just like for half and i know that i would have been very <laughs> disappointed and upset if i was to 
uh, do that. And that was something I did not want to do. So what I ended up using was this um, locker wall wallpaper or locker paper. I had uh, purchased this at the 99 cent store and it was for a dollar and I purchased um, only one because I didn't know like exactly what I was going to do with it. I was just thinking of decorating the planner uh, and just making the cover and I knew that that was going to be a lot of paper. Um, so what came to mind is like I have lots of paper. I have that wallpaper that I can use to decorate the box. But first I said, let me go ahead and measure. And that's what I did. And this is the outcome, guys, right here. The lid is very sturdy. It does fit really, really well. Um, and of course, as y'all well know, I had my our refrigerator broke down and I salvaged the um the vegetable tray um that i'm going to um the vegetable tray to use for storage under the the couch i'm going to use this plant this um for december cover um so as y'all can see i have a still quite a bit of stuff underneath there under my couch that um I want to be able to store and yet make it look pretty. So here is some Thanksgiving stuff that I'm going to go ahead and just put this here. I need to start decorating my... I really love those owls there you go so see i still have plenty of room that i can use so this is pretty much like my thanksgiving box and then i'll go ahead and i'll use this for my christmas box and yet they're gonna be excellent storage um that will fit that will fit perfect under uh my couch so what i'm gonna do is that i'm going to go ahead and close this box and um slide it under my couch so that you can see what it looks like and voila see how it looks it looks very pretty um it looks like i bought the box um but as a matter of fact these boxes were in the back door getting ready to be thrown away and i grabbed them and it's like what a perfect way to salvage these boxes here now honestly anybody can do this if you know how to wrap a gift then you can definitely do this um i do want to use fabric on my next one just to see how it looks or how it comes out i'm not quite sure i might go ahead and do it in black i don't know yet um or still stay within the the pink or turquoise theme a little pop of black uh, makes things color pop makes other colors pop and it makes it it's a beautiful contrast so yes this is my idea for the day or the tip for the day do not throw your boxes your copy paper boxes if you work for an office um grab yourself a box and just take it home and be experiment with it try to cut it down to the size that you're needing um and always make sure that your box is secure also the lid i did not mess with the lid i did not cut down the lid i re i left it the same size as is and um and it kind of holds the box a little bit better and um i love it i love the way it came out i love that i came up with this idea while i was at work um hope everyone has a good evening God bless.